Hello and welcome back to D3.js tutorial and uh, today we are going to understand how to create a time scale. Um, until now we've played only with the y-axis and um, for a while we, we set a uh, linear scale and um, today we'll play with the x-axis uh, and we'll set it to be um, a time scale. Okay, so first things first, um, let's take a look at our graphs. We can see that we have only y-axis and x is uh, blank. And in our um, w in our data arrays, we have this uh, data month that we didn't use yet. And I want to try to uh, play with it uh, now on the scale on the x-axis uh, uh, with, with the time scale. Okay, so we have uh, 1 to 12 representing the month and now I want to show you how we can parse it to be um, in a date format. Uh, D3 knows how to deal with, with, uh, with parsing um, time numbers or values. Uh, let's, let's try to, to deal with it now. Uh, I'll create a new uh, variable. Let's call it parse. Uh, parse uh, a month like that and a month like that and uh, let's say d3 dot time uh, parse is the function that we need in order to parse our uh, month and d3 knows to get knows how to take a format and translate it uh, and parse it to uh, to time in this in this uh, in this uh, to time value in this uh, example. So in our case, we're taking we are taking uh, numbers uh, of representing month, and I want it to be parsing it to month like that. Um, if it was, for example if uh, we had uh, those numbers instead of a uh, month it, it was years i could uh, do it like that and it would uh, deal with those numbers as years so in our case that's how we do it uh, and i want to show you uh, how we can see console how we can see those values uh, sorry like that console log and in here i would say d3 uh, sorry uh, parse month get the let's say 12 as an example and just to understand how different does uh, it can be I would also print to our console the value 12. I've saved that and I'm refreshing my page <clears throat> and you can see two different uh, outputs. One representing December for the 12 month and uh, the second one represent only the number 12. Okay, so I didn't, uh, I didn't, um, uh, done anything to the year or the day at that month it, it goes by default I only said uh, month to be 12 so that's how we can parse it to be um, in date format and now I want to create my x axis uh, like that and I'll show you how everything combines to that so in the previous sorry in the previous uh, example for y you see that I've used the scale linear and as I said today we are uh, using instead of scale linear we're using scale time like that <clears throat> okay and inside we can play with the domain and we'll define that in a second and again 
with range. So, range, as we can see in here, in the Y um, scale, we took it from height to zero, from 400 to zero. And now we are dealing with uh, the range from zero to width, like that, okay? And the domain, uh, before we've just looked at our uh, data array and decided it to be from 0 to 360. And now I want it to be uh, scale uh, by the month that we're getting from here after uh, we are parsing it, parsing the month uh, with this with this function that we've defined in here. So the scale is basically from the minimum to the maximum, right? Uh, so the minimum that we are going to use is d3 dot, sorry, min, like that. And the min, um, the min um, value will be uh, from data month like that and what I'm looking is to return D like that I'll explain everything in a second um, return And now I'm using parse month D like that. Maybe I'll I'll write it like that so it can be more readable and I'll explain everything. Um, oops, sorry. Okay, let me explain. Um, I've created a scale, a time scale, and I've defined the domain and the range. The range is set from 0 to 1000. It goes from left to right. Okay, that's, I believe, pretty straightforward. The problem is with the domain definition. So the domain definition, uh, what I'm looking is uh, the minimum value Oh, I didn't, I didn't um, complete everything yet, but I'm starting with a minimum value that's on the left side of my scale. And minimum that I'm looking is, I'm looking from, from date month, uh, which is this range, and obviously I'm going to get 1. Okay, after I'm getting 1, um, 1 will go to function uh, that I've defined in here, and will be represented by D and this function will return the parse month of D which is January okay so that will be our minimum value now I'm going to set the maximum value and maximum value will be D3 dot max exactly the same <coughs> date month like that and also in here function will be d and in here i'm going to return return pairs month with d and in this case um, the maximum value from 1 to 12 will be 12 and it will go to this function and then it will be parsed back to be uh, in date format which i'm gonna get december that's it okay hopefully it was uh okay and you uh, you understand that i'm gonna move it to be more readable i hope at least like that Okay, minimum 
and maximum values and that's my domain and all between uh, square brackets like that okay I'm saving it okay so now after we've defined our scale our time scale let's define our uh, axis our x-axis uh, so let's do it in here and now the three dot axis and obviously we want it to be at the bottom of our uh, chart like that and it is getting x of course like that okay after <clears throat> defining that I'm going to go and call my uh, like I've done in here <coughs> I called my y-axis I'm going to uh, grp grp dot sorry dot append and I'm appending it also to g exactly like um, above and I'm gonna give it a class attribute with axis and x and I'm calling the x axis like that saving it and let's see what we've got <clears throat> going back to my page refreshing it and we can see that we have a lot of mess on our page so let's go back to this uh, loop for a second and I'll change it to be only uh, from 0 to 1 instead of 5 ju just in order to see only one uh, area chart um, and make it a bit a bit clear um, to us so now it's it's slightly clear and we see that our x axis is at the <clears throat> at the top of our area chart and we want to move it to be at the bottom of, of uh, our area chart so in order to do that we need to uh, transform uh, this group to be a bit uh, down so I'm going to take the x-axis and in here I'm going to say um, dot a t t r and of course transform like that and translate so our default is zero zero but because it is right now at zero zero um, that's the positioning of this place I want to move it to be in here so X is okay but we want we need to change the Y value so X I'm gonna leave it with zero but sorry like that and in here I'm gonna change it to height saving it refreshing it okay it moved to the right place but now we can see that it's not sitting at the right scale um, so let's play with that a little bit so let's try to see how we can uh, manipulate the chart to go all the way to the center um, let's take a look at the area chart that we have in here uh, we say uh, the x the y is okay right the, the white scale is okay the problem is with our x axis um, and we can see that our chart <coughs> uh, definition for uh, x uh, each step is i times 20 which it was something that I took without any thought about it and we can see that y is going by the data that uh, we're getting from from data array so the the straightforward option is to do it like that right but it, it is wrong why because d represents the data array which is uh, those values and it gives me nothing uh, regarding the the month that we're getting so I want to change that to be instead of D to be uh, the date data month like that 
with i uh, value which will represent the specific month each time and um, because I'm gonna get the number if if it's going to be zero for example I'm gonna get one one will give me two etc etc I wanna parse it like I've done uh, in the in the domain definition I'm gonna need to use the parse method parse month and give it uh, this value like that I'm missing also another one okay like that and I think that's okay let's see refresh great okay so now I can see that it is moving by the month and if you're asking yourself why we can see uh, uh, 1900 instead of uh, January is because that's the represents uh, of the year that we have inside of it we can play with that also but I'm gonna leave it like that I can say uh, if we have a uh, few years scale of few years um, it will be great to see when a year starts and when it ends so if I'll have the uh, 1901 uh, in here the January of 1901 so in here uh, uh, I would see 1901 and not January again okay so that's for that and now my problem is with my circles so let's take a look at my circles and see that um, where are your circles okay in here um, so our X value again is a problem and I'm gonna use exactly the same in here uh, like that remove those save it refresh my page there you go now it is perfectly sitting on the scale the time scale and the values that I the linear scale in here and that's how you can uh, play with your axes if it's linear ones or or time scale ones and um, that's how you do it thanks for joining me hopefully uh, it was understandable and if you have any questions don't hesitate to comment on this video and I'll uh, answer um, as quick as I can don't forget to subscribe our channel and get updates when new parts of this tutorial and other tutorials will be published thank you and have a great day bye bye